coming, it goes back to, I believe, when we were actually fetuses in the womb. It was one of the first like primal experiences we had of being alive. You know, experiencing like a heartbeat and the rhythm of your mother. And so I think that's a very deeply spiritual experience that every human can connect with. You know, when, when we get together as a community and we're playing the drums, it's almost like we're honoring that, that place that we came from, that, you know, that mother's heartbeat that, that keeps us alive. And we're just trying to tune into that again together. And really, it, 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 it just, you're able to let go of all of the insignificant things when you are tuning into that rhythm. You know, you're just focusing on the present moment and it, it almost transcends logic. Uh, when you're playing the drums, uh, from my experience. I, I can read music and I can understand music logically, but when I'm playing the drums, it is a very intuitive experience. I think intuition and spirituality are kind of one and the same where, you know, we're all connected. And when you're playing, it doesn't require you to look outside yourself to know what to do. My name is Ismael Delgado. I'm born and raised in Puerto Rico. Lived there for 33 years and moved to Florida in 2003 to look with my family, with my wife and my two kids, to look for a better life. And uh, working in many places here along the way, learn English. When I moved here, I was not speaking English, so it was a tough process to go, but stay positive and beat all those challenges and keep going moving forward. So after a year drumming here, the guy, Kim James, rest in peace, uh, tell me, you got potentials and I'm retiring and I want you run the circle. So I take the chances, I know the challenge in life, and I said, let's do this. I was not ready, honestly, I was nervous. And start doing this drum circle two years ago and keeping it up, it's a drum circle. It's been running for 12 years with best of the best drum facilitators in the area so I just passed that knowledge and that pressure to me it was a good chance to me to prove myself and move forward along with that now out of this drumming passion I don't work anymore in the kitchen I'm just drum I'm building drums I work for giving through music we go to schools and work with all the kids and schools special needed kids we work with blind kids we work with brain injuries veterans we work with uh, memory units, all people, just bringing this gift, which is music, to them. And for me, it's, it's blessed to pass this knowledge to every single person out there. There is no level of ages. can be like from five years old to 80, 90 years old, and they all receive this gift of life. And that gives us opportunity to uh, keep moving forward and moving these music projects uh, in a long way. I actually feel that all the drum circles in different areas are actually a different vibe. You have drum circles that are in South Tampa, you have some West Palm, Daytona, Jacksonville, and also Ocala in Spring Hill, Florida. I feel like every drum circle has its own tribe and feeling to the circle. It's very interesting, there's a lot of life and personality and creativity in these circles. community aspect first. I, I learned the community aspect from the marching band. Here, the community aspect's a little bit different. For drum circle, all you have to do is bring a drum. You don't even really have to bring a drum. There's extra drums here, there's tambourines. Anybody can come and anybody uh, can participate. So I've been feeling that community sense, that togetherness, that brotherhood, sisterhood, if you will, uh, that drumming creates. I was fortunate uh, to become a piano drum instructor about 18 years ago. But I never ever met a kid that didn't want to drum. They all want to drum. So it's something that's inside us from, from when we're little. And I think that everyone can drum. And I want to encourage anyone who hasn't drummed before, pick up a drum, put your hands down, get some sticks, put the sticks down, count out loud. My name is Thomas L. Anderson III. I started drumming here in this uh, club uh, about five years ago. 
I, uh, I just came here one Tuesday night. The drum circle was going on. It fascinated me, so I came back the next Tuesday and the next and the next until I became a fixture. Eventually, I got up the courage to attempt to play a drum. You know, the guys here call me the elder because I'm the oldest guy that shows up usually with you know, the drummers. Or one of the older guys. There's a few guys older than me. And uh, like that. My name is Ricky Randolph, but then we caught him a block later. I can remember uh, we used to go and try to shut down fraternity parties by bringing all this, these instruments, which I still do bring a lot of instruments, and you know a lot of them are going to get tore up, so they're all picked up at yard sales and stuff. And we would do it almost every time. You get some drunken frat guys on some bongos. And the goal was to get him to turn the stereo off. Happened every time. And you couldn't get your bongos away from them. <laughs> they would just go. It's either they, uh, beer, fraternities, and bongos actually did mesh together. <laughs> uh, as far as spiritually goes, um, I know that I call drumming my therapy. It, it literally, it takes the... I get to hit something hard and make it sound pretty. It, it definitely is a stress relief. I go I go places when I'm drumming. It, when I'm drumming, I'm I'm in that zone. Literally, it's 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 meditation. Inside of a drum circle, there's a lot of energy being exchanged between the dancers and the drummers. The drummers actually put a pattern down and. The belly dancers, they actually act out what they're hearing. So bass tones usually are moved around with the, the hips, and high tones are with their hand, hand gestures. So it's really intricate to actually see a rhythm taking place in a dancer's body. So there's a lot of exchange there, so it's very important for the drummers to be on the same page to give it a perfect layout for a belly dancer to express what she's getting from the music. And it's a very beautiful thing to see when it actually happens. The drum circle is, a, it's, it's more than the drumming, it's the people. At the Treasure Island one, I always try to slip in a message, which is a real simple thing. And it's like, play till the sun goes down. I definitely think if you're looking for something new, a drum circle would be a good selection. It really will open up your mind. You really meet all different types of people, from religion to culture to just origins. And uh, I hope you guys try it out. And uh, certain way when you do this drum circle, every week we got a one or two people go out there and come back next week with a brand new drums. And you know, I see that as an impact musically and spiritual too, because maybe they've never believed in music before. Or, uh, the moment uh, they can say, oh yes, I, I'm gonna be able to play a rhythm that make music with these guys. Uh, they never see that before. So now they see the potential to do it. And I actually be, see a lot of people go buy drums and come here and express themselves because this is all about it. Drum Circle is about come here, share the best you have in your spirit, right? And pass that vibe with every single person in the dance floor, no matter who you are, no matter how professional who you are, well, you gotta just share that vibe. And you know, and and just just, just be happy and always uh, play, like, just smile in your face. <laughs>